You have once again strayed into Noir Alley. Thanks for coming. I'm your host, Eddie Muller, joining you from the Grand Lake Theater in Oakland, California. Today's film is The Brothers Rico, released by Columbia Pictures in 1957, late in the original noir cycle. Despite studio promotion that declared it the manhunt of the century, this is a small-scale, almost minimalist story, a crime film that doesn't feature a single cop. It's based on a 1952 novella by legendary Belgian writer Georges Simenon, one of the most prolific authors of the 20th century. Simenon wrote more than 500 novels and stories, 75 of which feature iconic French police inspector Jules Magret. But Simenon wrote many more stories featuring protagonists on the wrong side of the law. These were known as his roman dure, or hard novels. Les Frères Rico is one of those, written during a post-war period when Simenon and his family lived in various places around North America. Simenon's book was clearly inspired by U.S. congressional investigations into organized crime. Those televised hearings prompted Hollywood to release a slew of racket-busting movies in the 1950s, educating Americans for the first time about the inner workings of the mafia, its code of omerta, and how its capos used legitimate businesses as cover for criminal activities. Most of these studio films revolved around do-gooders, cops, DAs, and reporters, risking their necks to expose this corruption. But Simenon took a different approach. His protagonist, Eddie Rico, is a New York mobster trying to leave the rackets behind. He's retired to Florida, where he symbolically runs a cleaning business. Of course, if we've learned anything from film noir, it's that you never escape the sins of your past. The story is also about loyalty to one's family, whether it's biological or criminal. The role of Eddie Rico was tailor-made for Richard Conti. Although he was a versatile actor, he made his lasting mark in noir playing petty crooks who'd rise to become high-toned gangsters. Cry of the City, Under the Gun, The Raging Tide, The Big Combo, and New York Confidential are just a few of the films in which Conti is a bad guy audiences can't help but like. He carries this film on his back, appearing in virtually every scene. By 1957, director Phil Carlson was a workhorse at Columbia, making movies in every genre. But it was tough-as-nails crime pictures that cemented his reputation for efficient storytelling and brutal action scenes. Films like Kansas City Confidential, 99 River Street, and The Phoenix City Story. The Brothers Rico is different, however. Simenon's story isn't a fast-paced thriller, but a slow-burning tale of escalating paranoia and Carlson adjusts his typical slam-bang style to suit Simenon's more measured pace and subtle creeping dread. I will confess to having some issues with this script, credited to Lewis Meltzer and Ben Perry. It softens the novel by adding elements not in the book. And some sources claim that blacklisted writer Dalton Trumbo had a hand in the script, since it's known that Ben Perry fronted for Trumbo on two other films around the same time. The Boss, and Terror in a Texas Town. But I have my doubts, which I'll save for the outro, where I'll mention some crucial differences between the novel and the movie. Now, I consider this film noir because of the moral quandary faced by a guilty and compromised protagonist, but it has little of the shadowy ambiance we associate with traditional noir, even though its DP, Burnett Guffey, shot many of those for Columbia in the 40s and early 50s. Columbia's crime pictures of this period, things like Nightfall, Screaming Mimi, and The Lineup, had adopted a more low contrast look to accommodate their eventual sale to television. Now, you will find a number of familiar faces in today's film. Diane Foster, Catherine Grant, Larry Gates, Argentina Brunetti, and James Darren and Paul Picherny playing the other brothers of the title. But this is, start to finish, Richard Conti's show. And here he is, Hollywood's go-to gangster, starring in The Brothers Rico. <laughs> 